गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो आफ्टर डिस्कसिंग द कंज्यूमर्स प्रॉब्लम इन वीडियो नंबर 439 एंड द इनडायरेक्ट यूटिलिटी फंक्शन एंड द एक्सपेंडिचर फंक्शंस इन वीडियोस नंबर 440 एंड 441 रिस्पेक्टिवली इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ दैट वी इलाबोरेट ऑन द लिंक्स बिटवीन द marginal rate of substitution uh, and uh, the marginal utilities so let me introduce the idea if the utility that a consumer receives from the two goods is represented by the utility function u of x y we can write the total differential of this function as a uh, uh, du that is equal to a partial of u with respect to x times uh, change in x plus partial of u with respect to y uh, times dy or change in uh, y now along any particular indifference curve change in utility is zero so this means that uh, the, the total differential of uh, the utility function du will be equal to zero a simple manipulation of uh, this equation yields the following equation that marginal rate of substitution is equal to the negative of the slope of uh, the indifference curve where utility is held constant and that in turns equal to the partial of u with respect to x which is marginal utility of x divided by partial of u with respect to y which is marginal utility of uh, y Uh, therefore the negative of the slope of uh, any difference curve at sub at some point is uh, termed the marginal rate of substitution at uh, that point in other words the marginal rate of substitutions of x for y is equal to the ratio of marginal utility of x that is the partial of u with respect to x to the marginal utility of y that is partial of u with respect to y uh this results makes sense because a person if a person's utility were actually measurable in units called utils also assume that uh, this person consumes only two goods that is food uh, denoted by x and the clothing denoted by y and that each extra unit of food provides six utils whereas each extra unit of clothing provides two utils then the equation number 2 would mean that uh, the marginal rate of substitution of x for y is uh, equal to the ratio of marginal utilities of x and marginal utility of y and that is 6 by 2 which is equal to so marginal rate of uh, substitution of x for y will be equal to 3 so this person is willing to substitute Three units of uh, clothing to obtain one more unit of food. This trade would result in no net change in the utility because the gains and losses would uh, be precisely offsetting. So the marginal rate of uh, substitution between x and y will be equal to three, and this will not change the utility. Now we discuss uh, the uh, we relate the diminishing marginal utilities to the marginal rate of uh, substitutions. Uh, formally let us suppose that the utility function f of u be any arbitrary order preserving transformation of u that is f prime u is greater than 0 uh, then for the transformed utility function marginal rate of substitution is equal to partial of f with respect to x divided by partial of f with respect to dy and that is equal to f of x times partial of u with respect to x whole divided by f prime u times partial of u with respect to dy and that is equal to partial of u with respect to x uh, divided by partial of u with respect to y and that is equal to the ratio of marginal utilities of x and marginal utility of y so this is the marginal rate of substitution for the original function u that the f of prime u terms cancel out shows that the marginal rate of substitution is independent of how utility is measured uh, we know that if utility is given by u which is a function of x and y then 
Malner rate of substitution is equal to the partial of uh, u with respect to x divided by partial of u with respect to y. So these are shown by f x and uh, uh, partial of uh, f with respect to y, and that is equal to f1 f2, and finally this is equal to the negative of uh, the ratio uh, of uh, dy divided by dx. The assumption of a diminishing Malnan rate of substitution means that the derivative of Malnan rate of substitution with respect to x must be negative. But the derivative of MRS uh, divided by dx is equal to f2 uh, times f11 plus f12 times dy by dx minus f1 into f21 plus f22 times dy dx whole divided by f2 square. <coughs> uh, using the fact that uh, f1 divided by f2 is equal to the negative of uh, dy or dx. So we get the derivative of man rate of substitution divided by dx uh, is equal to this uh, mathematical expression, this whole expression and we combine the terms and recognizing that f of 1 2 is equal to f of 2 1 these are the cross. Uh, that is the uh, change in marginal utility of x with respect to change in y and that is equal to change in marginal utility of y with respect to x with respect to change in x and this yields change in marginal rate of substitution uh, divided by dx is equal to this expression r multiplying numerator and denumerator by f2 we get uh, change in mrs due to a unit change in x is equal to this mathematical expression or uh, statement. Uh, now, now if we assume that uh, the marginal utility of uh, x2 or uh, the y good is uh, positive, then marginal rate of substitution will diminish as long as, uh, as, long as uh, f2 square f11 minus f1 f2 f12 plus f1 square f22 is less than 0. It means that uh, change in man rate of substitution due to change in x will be equal to 0 if the numerator is uh, negative. So if we assume that uh, f2 is greater than 0, then the man rate of substitution will diminish as long as this expression is less than 0. Uh, this figure shows uh, example of uh, some utility functions. There are four types of indifference curves. Uh, this panel A shows uh, Cobb Douglas uh, type of uh, utility function or indifference curves, and these are the uh, indifference curves for uh, perfect substitute. These are the indifference curves which are L shaped, and there is no substitutability, and these are the uh, uh, you, uh, indifference curves are utility function associated with the constant elasticity of substitution function. Now there are two extremes. This panel C shows no substitutability between uh, x and y whereas uh, in this uh, panel there is perfect substitutability between x and y and uh, in panel A and uh, D there are uh, a relatively low substitutability. There is substitutability between x and y but uh, that is not perfect. That is less than perfect. Suppose utility is a function of n goods uh, that is denoted by a function u of x1, x2 up to xn. The total differential of this expression is uh, equal to du that is equal to uh, partial of u with respect to x1 times dx1 plus partial of u with respect to x2 uh, dx2 plus up to partial of u with respect to partial of xn times dxn. Uh, since as before we can find that MRS between any two goods by setting du equal to 0 uh, then in this derivation we also hold constant quantities of all other goods other than these two. Hence we have that uh, du is equal to total differential of utility function du is equal to partial of u with respect to x1 times dx1 plus 
partial of u with respect to dxj times dxj is equal to 0 after some algebraic manipulation we get that marginal rate of substitution of x i for x j uh, is equal to the negative of the uh, dxj divided by dxy that is negative of the ratio of dxj to dxi and that in term is equal to partial of u with respect to xi divided by uh, partial of u with respect to xj and finally uh, we get that marginal rate of substitution of xi for xj is equal to marginal utility of xi divided by marginal utility of xj uh, multi good indifference surface Generalizing the concept of indifference curves to multiple dimension poses no major mathematical difficulties. We can do the same. Uh, we, we can express. Uh, but we simply define any different surface as being the set of points in n dimensions that satisfy the equation u of x1, x2 up to xn is equal to some constant that is equal to k. If the utility function is a quasi concave, the set of points for which uh, utility total utility is uh, positive that is greater than or uh, equal to k uh, it will be convex that is all the points on a line joining any two points on the uh, indifference curve u is equal to k indifference surface will always will also have utility greater than or equal to k uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, this is how we can relate marginal rate of substitution uh, to the ratio of marginal uh, utility of uh, good x divided by marginal utility of uh, good y for two good case. Similarly, we can also show uh, this for uh, n case when there are n commodities. And we also proved that uh, the marginal rate of uh, substitution between uh, one commodity uh, and another commodity is going to diminish along the same indifference curve. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel kindly, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get regular notifications about other videos that I'll upload it upload for you. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe the various videos of this channel in various WhatsApp groups so that this could reach to the maximum possible number of people. Thank you.